Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Um, wanted to do a showcase today. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. We've all got a little more time at home and I um, uh, hope you're all healthy and, and all that. So I um, wanted to do a showcase of my Chris Dunn collection, which I've been talking about doing for a while. But um, again, finally going to get to do it. So um, if you don't know Chris, um, probably not the most famous NBA player, but um, my favorite player in the NBA. And that's what's fun about having a personal collection, right? Um, so um, Chris plays for the Chicago Bulls. Before that, he played for um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. He was drafted, um, I think, number six overall um, out of Providence. And so I got to see his whole college career um, start to finish, and that was really fun. So great defensive player. Um, also a good guy, and, and um, so it's just been really fun to collect him. So let me show you some of the stuff that I've been um, collecting, and it's been nice because he's my favorite player, and his cards are um, relatively inexpensive, which is kind of nice. Um, he's um, had a good career so far. I think he was leading the league in steals, for example. Again, really good defensive player um, before the season got um, kind of aborted. Uh, but here you can see some of the variations of the old prism here. There's the green disco. There's another, what is that, a silver hollow. And if you're one of these experts on all these prisms and stuff, you can certainly leave a comment below. That would be cool. Um, and there's a red cracked ice. So I've got, I guess, six variations of this one. The candy stripe and the pink cracked ice and the silver hollow and the green disco. and It's just kind of fun to collect them. And um, it's just neat to get on eBay and kind of poke around and look for these and try to get them for a dollar or something like that. So that's been really fun. I'm kind of building the way that I'll show this. Um, I'll get to the slabbed cards and then the um, autos and so on. And, and right before that, I'll show the um, patches and so on. So let me show you a few more um, of these kinds of cards. Here's Optic. Um, pretty neat card. Um, the blue, I really like that one. The pink is nice too. The pink one's actually numbered. Um, yeah, that one is numbered to 25. Um, the blue one's not, but I actually kind of like the blue one better. So there's a couple variations of that. Obviously, I got some more work to do on that one. Um, the uh, optic here is really nice. I'll start with um, the, the just the silver prism. Really nice. Sharp. He's, I don't know, saving a ball that's going out of bounds or something like that. So that's that card. There's the blue variation. And there's the, I guess that's a pink variation. And again, I'm not an expert on these. I, I'm actually, I don't collect a lot of basketball, but I definitely collect, obviously, Chris Dunn. So, so that's um, that. And then my favorite one of this version is the orange. I just, I think orange cards in baseball and basketball. And I think that orange cards just always look cool. And it looks really nice with the red um, for the bulls. What's cool about this one, too, is that one's numbered as well. Um, to 199. Um, here's the hoops card from I think this year, and I, I pulled one of these from a pack, and then I got maybe the purple one. Um, I think on eBay. So that's kind of a cool card, just bringing the, the ball up the court. Um, and then this year's prism I think is just an awesome card. He's grabbing a rebound or saving a ball or calling a timeout. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, um, but there's that card. So that's the, that's actually not the base card because that's the, uh, that's the prism, right? That's the silver. So it's kind of a little nicer than the other, but that's the silver. And then I've got a couple other um, variations. I've got the, this is the blue disco. And I don't know what this one is called. And again, there are people who know this a lot better than me. That's the purple. Pretty neat. And I think there are more variations of this out there that I've got to collect. Um, there's the red cracked ice, which is nice. And there's the green. I actually ended up with two of the greens. So one of my buddies in, um, Rhode Island is going to get the other green. He watches the channel, so he'll know. But I'll keep it a surprise, so maybe you won't see this video. And then, um... This is my favorite one of the series. This is the orange cracked ice. I just love the way that orange looks with the red for the bulls. So sweet. And not numbered or anything, but just I think that's probably my favorite of any of the prism cards. 
And I did forget one of these is numbered to. Yeah, look at this one. This is kind of the green disco from that first prism set. I forgot. This is this is actually three of five, which is pretty cool that they made five of the greens. And I I, I don't know. I have one. It's kind of neat. I get kind of into that. I like the the numbered cards. Okay, so that's that. Let me show you a few of the patch cards. These are um, also really fun. There's one recent um, National Treasures card. The Bulls with a nice black patch. Number 49. There's a uh, Crown Royale jerseys. Number 49. And again, it pays to like a player who's not as desirable um, to collectors. Because now I can get all the cards that I want and I can get them at an affordable price. So it's really fun to just be a collector. And, and so there's that one. These were not expensive cards. Here's a, an older one from the Timberwolves with a jersey. And that one is numbered to 99. There's Panini Select Timberwolves jersey. Throwback memorabilia. Game-worn material, which I just think is so cool. So, you know, so many of these patches now are just, you know, not game-worn. This is kind of a neat one, actually, the next two. Um, this is Ben Bentel, who we played with at Providence. So this is a dual patch, uh, numbered to 99. Uh, Bentel also got drafted in the same year by the Celtics, but um, unfortunately didn't stick around the league as long as we would have hoped. But So they were quite a, quite a potent um, um, pair. And here's another one. There's Bentel and Dunn, Providence. Really nice patch card, so um, that's that. Um, so it's fun to collect Chris, um, and I guess I didn't tell the story. He um, So let me show you the slab cards. 2016 Optic and a Gem Mint 10. Um, this is the orange variation. You know, I just mentioned I love the orange variations. Um, that's actually numbered to 199, which is cool. So if I was going to have any of these, um, this one was the one. These were not expensive to get um, online and have um, slabbed already for me. 2018 Optic. So, you know, you just saw a version of this card. But this one I just happen to have um, slabbed. This is the pink. I really need to write these down and then just kind of go online and figure out what I need. Um, maybe I'll do that after I finish this video. Um, but that's... Um, the second slab card, and then the third slab card I have is a prism from 16. Um, this is his rookie. Um, and not, actually not my favorite card in terms of like the, you know, the pose to dribble and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, this would be the, the big rookie card, I guess, um, for collectors. But I, I was able to um, um, actually meet Chris um, in Chicago. I was there for work, and I was walking down the street, and I recognized him obviously <laughs> walking down the street and I called out to him and he came over and shot the breeze with me and took a picture and didn't like rush it and was totally cool about it. And, um, it was, it was a cool moment. <laughs> totally lucky. Um, so let me start to show you some of the autos. These are really cool. There's a prism auto and this is the gold number to 10, number nine of 10, which is really cool. So not a, not a big print run. Here's a Donruss to 75. Really nice. Um, patch Auto signature right there. There's one of the contenders. Um, really nice. I love that one because he's in the Providence uniform. And uh, not numbered or anything, but still a cool card. Oh, here's just a patch card. That should have been in my patch stack. Um, nice Providence um, one. So we'll put that over here on the patch. There's another Donruss Patch Auto numbered to 99. That's a cool one. Nice design on that card. Here's a Spectra patch auto from the Timberwolves rookie card. So you could call that a rookie patch auto, I guess. And that one is numbered to 300. This is kind of a neat one. Fresh paint, Court Kings. Like That's on card. It's like a canvas. That's a pretty cool card. And that is, oh, that's a, a number two to 200. Uh, rookie roll call. Certified. Nice. I told you I have an obsessive Chris Dunn collection. But I've been wanting to do this um, showcase for a while. Here's a Donruss Dominator. Number 250. Nice kind of shine to that one. 
And if I start to see Chris Dunn cards go up in value, I'm going to be angry. Um, I don't want everybody moving in on my PC here. <laughs> uh, here's NBA Hoops. Um, Timberwolves. Cool card. Here's a Prism Auto. Really nice. One of my actual favorites is this Prestige from 1617. I love this. It's a NBA Passport card. So they made it look like obviously a passport. Really neat. Um, that one's numbered to 99. I just like the way that looked. I've, I've seen a few of these slab too. They look cool in the slab. And then lastly of the autos, um, or this set of autos, is to 199. Um, this first impressions from Aficionado um, from Panini. I don't know. I don't even know that set. So anyway, that's cool. So that's kind of the, the optics and the prisms and so on. I'll just finish with these. These are probably my favorite that I like to collect. Um, and these are the National Treasures um, Rookie Patch Auto. And so what a cool card. I love the horizontal design of this one. The patches are nice and chunky. This is not an interesting one per se. It's just white patch, but on card, really, really awesome. Nice Providence logo. So this is probably my favorite Chris Dunn card, and that's numbered to 49. There's another group of them numbered to 25, like this one. And that's a cool patch, too, because it's got the black jersey with the gray. So that's one of the ones to 25 that I have. Here's another one to 25 that I have. Really cool three-color patches. You see here black, white, and gray on card number 20 of 25. Here's another one to 45 that I have. Again, another one of those basic white ones. I should put that with the other one. And then the last one is numbered to 25, a white and gray. And that one's encased by Panini, so... So I've got five of those at the moment, and uh, I don't know, I might just keep kind of looking for these um, online and building my collection, because I just think, what a cool card, I just love that. That's probably my favorite one, I guess because it's numbered to the lowest, either that one or this one, I'm not sure. These are both numbered to 25. Um, so thanks so much for watching my Chris Dunn collection. I don't know how many people would be super into this. Um, but um, it's just kind of fun to show cards. That's what the hobby is all about, and I really like collecting Chris Dunn. And uh, so uh, it's been a lot of fun, so I appreciate you watching it. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like the channel, um, click subscribe. I always forget to remind people to do that. You can do that right down in the corner, and uh, that'd be cool. I do breaks and um, stuff that's coming in um, and going out on eBay and all that kind of stuff. I collect T206 cards. I got some 1960 Tops cards that I'm building up just random baseball, random basketball, random football. So check it out. All right, cool. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. See you.